Hi YouTube world, I am back with another video today and I'm going to be reviewing the Chanel wallet on chains. This is not your typical review as there are a number of walk reviews out there that I've watched and you know talking about the dimensions and what fits and whatnot. So I want to do something a little bit different so that you can make an informed decision on your next purchase on the Chanel walks that are available out there. So I'll talk a little bit about history, the price history, the types of Chanel's um, that are out there, the new constructions that they're coming out with, all the little details and whatnot. And I'll do a quick review on the two that I have here in front of me. And then of course what fits because um, that's always fun, right? We all have different items that we want to try. So I want to show you what fits. That's the only thing that I will do a little bit similarities to other people. A little bit about the history on the Chanel wallet on chains. They have been around since the 80s. They were similar shapes. If you look at the series one, series twos and whatnot, they had Chanel uh, single flaps. They weren't called wallet on chains or walk because they had, didn't have the credit card slots. Also back in the 80s, how many people have credit cards, right? So that wasn't really a thing, but if you think about it, they had single flaps that were similar size and had just one single compartment. So they've been around for a while, but traditionally to the walk that we know today, it was released back in 1997. And since then, they have took off. It is the most one of the most popular options, especially if you are just getting into Chanel. It's a great place to start, but they're technically not a handbag. Um, they're considered a small leather good or SLG, even Chanel themselves. They consider this a, a purse as opposed to an SLG. So there has been very many iterations since then, which I'll go over a few in a second here. But the most notable design change that they had with these uh, walks was the magnetic enclosure that happened in 2019, which Things like not too long ago, right? This magnetic enclosure. Prior to that, they had a um, like a pin for the top portion of it, and then it was a little hole that you have to like play a game of Target every time you try to close your uh, purse. So I guess they took customer feedback and decided to make a magnetic enclosure as opposed to a pin and a hole. A couple of the ones I'll insert pictures either somewhere around here, but I'll insert pictures on the different uh, class, uh, different walks that they have produced. But the first one obviously is the classic one, right? The classic one um, where it's just a simple chain and then a very small Chanel logo like this one on the front of the bag. And it comes in multiple different leathers. So there's caviar, there is uh, lambskin, smooth lambskin. And then I know they also came out with the different tweeds and the different prints. This one's the boy bag. This one's the camellia. A couple of them that they have produced over the years. Some of them they, they stopped making. They, were, they also came out with the Chanel reissue. There's also the camellia. I'll insert a photo that I found online um, from this website. And I'll, I'll link the credits down below. But they also came out with the Chanel Half Moon. The filigree, which is extremely popular and very rare nowadays. I know some people have it out there and they're just holding on to it. There's also the Timeless Walk, which is, I think, from back in the day. They don't have those anymore, just like they don't produce this Camellia one anymore. Then they also have the Chanel 19 Walk that comes in leather or goat skin, um, lamb skin, but it also comes in a tweed version. Then lastly, there's also the Chanel Boy Bag. They've came out with a couple more iterations, but I think those are the most notable ones. So when it comes to pricing, the furthest back I can go and find on a Chanel walk was back in 2011, and that was at $17.75. If you look on the prices today on the Chanel website, again, I'm going to insert pictures, they are up to $29.50. And that is a huge increase, right? And if you think about it, it's actually considered an entry level leather good for Chanel. Cause now the, the small, the medium, the classic flaps have gone up to like 
eight, nine, ten thousand dollars, which is ridiculous. So if you want to look at something that's a little bit lower of a price point, this is going to be it. Going from 2011 at 1775 all the way up to today at about 3,000, let's just say give or take, that is a 40% increase in the span of like five or six years, which is crazy, right? So some things to think about if you want to think about pre-loves, et cetera, um, if you don't want to pay the $3,000 plus tax, right? The reason why even Chanel does not consider this to be a SLG is because they would actually provide a five-year warranty. Again, this is, I didn't hear directly from the Chanel associates, but I did do some research online and I found that they are offering a five-year warranty just on the wallet on chains and no, no other SLGs. So talking a little bit more about the other features that the new designs have come out with in the most recent years is that here, I'll show you some of this one. They have changed the tabs to be metal and some of them are actually so that they are better quality, even though you're still going to get the, the famous, I don't know if you can see that, the famous pressure mark, um, which I don't, I don't understand why it's considered famous, but they're still going to create that pressure mark right here, but they did update the, the zipper. So the other design feature that has changed a little bit that you might want to be aware of is that the tubular leather piece that is here where your chain um, is supposed to fit, right? Some of the new ones I have seen, again, here is a picture, where the, the chain is attached to the leather piece and then the leather piece is now sewn onto the actual bag itself. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but just something to think about that when you are shopping for a wallet on chain, you just want to make sure whether you're buying it online or if you're in person, you just want to make sure you take a look at that, at the details where it's the traditional one is going to be the tubular design. Whereas now they have the different um, chain that has been sewn onto the leather piece and the leather piece has now been sewn onto the actual flap of the bag itself. The other ones that I've seen are where the Chanel 19 in particular, where the chain is on the outside of the bag, right? So something to think about if you like that design or not, it's not the traditional. One more that I've seen is, I'll use this one as an example so we can take a look. One more I've seen are the holes where it's kind of like a traditional Chanel classic flap where they have got the holes and the chain goes through those holes. So that's a new design that I've seen. But there's another one where now it comes with a D ring, like right here, and the chain goes with the D ring that is sewn onto this portion of it. So I don't know if I like that too much. I feel like there will be a lot of rubbing going on, but who knows? That also could be a money saving feature where using a D ring as opposed to an entire leather piece and then having to sew on it. That's just my speculation. Who knows? So I originally thought that Chanel made an improvement by having the magnets been slimmer and having it more concave, but I was looking at more pictures and it didn't seem like that. So this is just wishful thinking. Thick, right? When you got the magnets here, but the new design, they actually did an improvement I did like, and I wish I had for this bag because of the magnetic enclosure where this part of it, I think is a lot slimmer. And the upper one where the top, the top magnet has a concave or an indent inwards instead of just a flat one like this, it actually goes inwards. So when you um, close it up, it gets closer to the actual bag. It becomes a lot slimmer as opposed to this bulkiness right here. There is also a different design out there, which I kind of like where it's kind of mimicking the classic flap where instead of just a CC logo right here, they actually have the turn lock one, right? They're making it more and more like the classic flaps, classic double flaps. So let's do a quick review of these two bags that I've got. This is the Camellia Walk. I actually purchased this 
from a online retailer in Japan and it's a reputable company. I got this earlier last year, so around February of 2021, 2021 for about $1,900. I didn't save too much money if you think about it because this was a used um, wallet on chain. But I was pretty happy happy with it because I know this has been since then discontinued, but who knows, they probably will bring it back at some point. So I really like this Camellia um, imprint that they have, and it's a caviar, and a, I love red. So I was willing to pay a little bit more of a premium, and it was in a really good condition. Between the two, which I'll get into the review of this one, but between the two, I would say I like this one better just because of the chain. You can see the chain is very slim and slender when I'm storing it, right? I can easily put this away and I still can use it as a clutch and there's still plenty of room. There's the six credit card slots and then there's um, the compartments. So again, you've been seen in other reviews, so I won't go into too much detail here. And I've got the authenticity card here. Whereas if you look at the boy bag, which I still like this bag too, but if you look at the boy bag, this chain is much thicker, but it is also lighter. So I don't know about the weight difference. I'm going to weigh these bags in a moment here. So I'm, I might just be as surprised as you are because I haven't weighed them yet. But the biggest beef I have with this boy bag walk is that it comes with this strap which ultimately I like because it's more comfortable on the shoulder and it won't slip off like most chain bags would, which I actually got rid of a, a, a Gucci um, Soho cross east-west bag because it was a full chain. It doesn't have the leather strap and it just keeps slipping off my shoulder. So I won't ever buy a chain uh, bag without a leather strap. So going back to, not to get sidetracked, but going back to this is that when I'm putting it away, if I want to just use it like a clutch, this gets in the way, right? It takes up so much space that I can't really use it as a regular bag with stuff on top because I'm afraid I'm going to bend this with whatever I put in there. So that is my biggest complaint about the boy bag, even though it's more comfortable with the leather strap. Usually if there's weight, it, it makes a big difference. But since this is a very small bag and the weight probably isn't there for me to worry about the ch chain coming off um, too too easily like this one. So this one stays on pretty well. Also with the Chanel uh, chains you can see they do have the leather straps here so it helps with slipping off the shoulder. Both of these bags are made in Italy. And this one I got off of Poshmark, kind of just jumping back and forth here. But this one I got off of Poshmark, which went through their uh, authentication program. It came with an authentication card. It only came with a dust bag and didn't, neither of these came with boxes. I feel like this pink one does rub a little bit easier, even though it's considered caviar. Maybe it's because it's lighter skin. But you can see here, you see how there's little rubs here and, and it's getting a little bit dirty. I've been using this quite a while and I, I've been... Not incredibly careful with it, but again, it goes to show the lighter bags do stain a little bit easier, especially if you are wearing darker clothing or if you're just putting it down and there's a nick right there. But I don't have any color transfer here. So overall, I'm still pretty happy with this. And then if you see here, this one seems like it's a lot more durable just because maybe it's a different leather. I'm not sure, but... I just feel like this one's much more durable and I kind of just toss this around as well. So how do I use this on a daily basis? So I have this bag shaper. I know there's a lot of people out there with a different kind of bag shaper where it kind of goes up like this. I don't personally like that one too much. I want a, a base shaper that is going to be very compact. This one I got off of Amazon. I'll make sure to link that down below. But I personally like this one because it's very compact. And I also like the, let me just show you. So I just stuff it down there. I also like how this part looks where it still looks very natural. It's not just like propped up 
and super stretched out with like the ones with the U shape. Um, I still like this very natural look to the bag, which is why I chose this one instead. If you like the traditional one where it goes the U shape one, definitely go for it. But personally, this is just a preference. I still like my bag to look a little bit um, more natural with the, the triangle shape. And I also feel like that gives you a little bit more space to put stuff in as well. Okay, so getting into the last bit of this, let's take a look at, look at what fits in here as well as the weight of the bag. Um, by the way, if you are enjoying the content that you are seeing here, check out some of my other videos. I try to do reviews that are a little bit different. Uh, and comment down below what kind of more reviews and topics and questions that you have so that I can make better content for you so that you can make an informed decision on your next purchase. Or perhaps if you want to, um, or slimming down your collection, these are all great things to think about um, as we are, you know, somehow adulting. Hit that like and subscribe button as I am building out this channel. Hopefully uh, I'll see you guys again soon, but let's get on right to the last bit of this. I've got my scale right here. <laughs> Look at my ugly fan, that needs to go. Hopefully you can see this okay. I just got this scale. Not sure if I like this, especially if it's going to show you my ugly fan. I might get a different one. But anyways, for this video, let's just look at this is in pounds and ounces right now. So there's nothing in this. We'll go start with this uh, boy walk. Let's just see how much it weighs. Okay, 13.8 ounces. I'm really curious to see how much this one weighs. Pretty much the same, uh, you know, 0.2 ounces, give or take. But I'm I'm kind of shocked. I thought this one was gonna be, I thought the Chanel uh, Boy wallet is going to be heavier, but the chain is definitely lighter and more hollow. Where this one, it feels more substantial, even though it is a thinner strap. But they're basically the same weight, so I'm kind of kind of surprised. I'm gonna take the chain out. First things first, I have this dress up your purse wallet that I've been using as a constant for all of my uh, what fits in your purse. Technically, I can definitely take, you know, the two or three cards that I need out and just put it into this one of the six card slots that you have here. But let's just for, you know, sake, I, I've been really good at paring down what I need to bring, but let's just put this in here. Let's get the big stuff in. I've got an iPhone 10. And it fits very easily in there. Here's a Tide pen. Oh my god, uh, <laughs> I got this at a conference. So maybe I should put that down there. Got play touches here. Hand cream, hand lotion. Gotta have that, especially my with my incredibly dry hands. Oh my goodness, I'm embarrassed. That can fit in there. I've been using this Make Serum Balm Intense, which is really, really nice. I've been really enjoying this, so a little bit heavy. What else can I put in here? I think that's plenty of stuff. Oh, and if I have cash, I can always put the cash in here. Keep it more secure or up in this little pocket because it does go all the way down. So let's see if this closes. And it closes with plenty of room. And it's the magnetic is so strong that it just snapped right on, which is awesome. This is why I don't need the U-shape looking like bag, uh, the base um, for my purse or for the walk because whatever I put in here just props it up. Looks a little bulky, but it does prop it up pretty nicely. So let's see what the weight is now. It is at one pound and 13 ounces. So that's a, a lot of stuff, right? Okay, so you can see how it fits a lot of things. Um, just give and take what you want to bring. So I don't feel like you have to sacrifice real estate just because you want to use a wallet on chain. Bam. All right, let's just, let's just do that. Okay.
It's the same. One last thing, I will do make a comment on why I only have these two wallet on chains in my collection now. I used to have uh, a YSL wallet on chain and it came with 12 different slots. And my biggest annoyance with that is that, and I'll, I'll insert a photo of what it looked like. My biggest annoyance with that bag and why I decided to part with it was this particular space. It did not have any, it was basically just like this, right? Both sides. There's no room for expansion. Literally could not fit anything in there. Whereas this one you just saw, you can fit a lot of stuff in there and it's about the same size. So that's why I decided to sell my YSL wallet on chain. And it also came with a strap that is 100% metal, which it kept slipping off of my shoulder, even though there was not much stuff in there to begin with. Whereas this one, it has leather, so it doesn't slip off very easily. So those are the two main reasons. Those are the two main reasons why I decided to sell my uh, YSL uh, wallet on chain. Something to think about. And there you have it. Hopefully this was helpful. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I want to cover topics that will help you adult easier. Life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can live your best life and hopefully less than retail. See you next time.